Hey, 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 guys! Hope all is fine with you. Welcome to my channel, Denver's Impression. For today's vlog, I'm gonna be talking to you about the life biography of President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Since for the past days, I'm getting requests, private messages from uh, both of my local subscribers and some foreign subscribers and friends on social media. Uh, they want to know more about this controversial Philippine president. By the way, he served as mayor for seven terms. Maybe the longest term a mayor served in the country. That's for a total of 22 years. And he also served as um, congressman or representative for Davao for one term and as vice mayor for the same city for one term so he is currently 75 years old and he was born on March 28, 1945 in Maasin, Southern uh, Leyte, Philippines of course let's uh, talk about his family background a bit of his family background by the way his father is um, Vicente Duterte and he was elected as the governor of Davao Philippines from 1959 to 1965 while uh, his mother uh, Soledad Roa uh, was a public school teacher so at the age of four years old, the current president, Rodrigo, Rodrigo Duterte, has been exposed in the, a political setup because he was still four years or old when his father was elected as a governor uh, within that span of period. So as to his educational background, in 1968, he graduated with a bachelor degree of um, political science at the Lyceum of the Philippines University. Then, after that one, he took up Bachelor of Law and graduated in 1972 at the San Beda um, College of Law. On the same year, in 1972, he successfully passed the bar examination. So, right after the graduation, he landed a job as a special counsel in Davao City. Then later on, uh, he became the city prosecutor of Davao City from 1977 to 1986. So quite a long. But in 1986, due to some um, circumstances, he was appointed as the officer in charge, OIC, vice mayor, of Davao City. So that's the start of his uh, political career. He entered the politics, uh, formally entered the politics, the Philippine politics in 1988 when he first elected as a mayor of Davao City. So he, from 1988, he held the office for um, two years. Then, uh, due to some uh, restriction, he wasn't able to run again um, because there is a restriction under the law on how many times you should be running in a specific um, government elected position. So, instead of him running for mayor again right after his two terms, he ran for congressman or for the House of Representatives for Davao in 1998. And uh, as usual, he again won. So after his uh, term as uh, congressman in uh, 2001, so that's after three years from 1998, he returned to Davao again and uh, he was again elected as um, as the mayor. So you can see the, the, his, the, the, trans, the transition, right? You can clearly see the transition of his uh, political career in this one. So in 2010, uh, he was elected as vice mayor as usual there is a gap there should be a gap he cannot uh, run for the same office mayor's office because of uh, the restriction under the law so instead he runs as a vice mayor so 
while uh, his daughter Sara Duterte serve as the mayor during that um, period. Then in 2013, he was elected as again as the mayor. So this is a seventh term that he um, is now being elected as a mayor by the majority public with uh, his son Paulo Duterte as the vice mayor. So, 2016, so 13, 14, 15, 16, three years after, he again won the heart of majority vote, almost 80% votes of the Filipino people when he ran for the president and won in 2016 up to the present. So, unfortunately, he could not run again because there is a bar under the constitution that the president shall only um, hold office for one term. So, 16... He won as the president. So that's his the background of his political um, career. So if you can see, since he was four years old, he's already um, he's not new to the world of politics. His dad or father being a politician at the age of four. So and if you can see his academic background, he's a lawyer by profession. So running or handling a sensitive position especially being a president i guess he ha he has he has all the required academic qualification for being a president it's not required that you should be a lawyer when you become a president you should be a filipino citizen with uh, um must be able to read and write at least i guess if i am not mistaken 40 years old and above at the time of the election so those are the only requirement prescribed by law so until then guys and how come he became a blast or a certain um, blast not only the philippines but all throughout the world i guess he's one of the um most talk leaders of the generation apart from donald trump um prime minister uh Modi of India. We also have Russian President uh, President Putin. So I guess these are the leaders who are always talked by both local and international media channels. So f on our next vlog, please watch out on this one. I will discuss to you one by one what are the controversies that involves President Rodrigo Duterte. And how come his name suddenly become boom in the international uh, mass media. So until then guys, I hope you have uh, learned something or you have get uh, additional information. So please don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you and stay safe. God bless us all. Bye-bye.